Hey guys, this is Lavos for the PO Simulator channel, here to bring you an advanced overuse battle between two uh, very good battlers, TM1337 Falcon Punch, also known as Meteor64, and Ola, who I had actually never heard uh, of before, before today, but he's really a very good player, as I'm sure you'll get to find out in just a second. So without further ado, let's get right to the battle. Falcon Punch leading with Vaporeon, Ola leading with Jolteon. Obviously, it's going to be a losing battle for Vaporeon, but Jolteon goes for the sub, and Vaporeon with the gutsy surf, breaking that sub. And now Jolteon's going to get out of the way, go to Milotic, as Vaporeon also gets out of the way, goes to Porygon 2. Now, this, uh, Porygon 2 really doesn't want to eat a Toxic, so he's going to switch to Heracross, and Heracross really does want to eat a Toxic, because it gets a Guts boost from that. So Milotic going to have to get out of the way there, not wanting to eat a Guts-boosted Megahorn. And Heracross, surprisingly enough, going to go for the Sword Stance, but I really don't agree with there. I think he should have just gone straight for the attack, but anyways, Charizard going to come in, which resists both of Heracross's stabs, and now it's just going to sub up as Heracross switches out and goes back to Vaporeon. Now Charizard's going to show Hidden Power, probably Grass to beat Swampert, super effective against Vaporeon, but not going to do a whole lot as Vaporeon looks like it's got some special defense investment. And now it's going to switch out, go back to Milotic as Vaporeon goes to the Wish, receive what it wants to pass it to, and it is the Heracross. As Milotic goes for the Toxic again, obviously that's not going to work out as Heracross is already toxic. So Heracross is going to be back to full HP minus that Toxic damage, and go for the Megahorn, doing a hefty 61% plus that Guts boost to the Milotic, which I assume is max HP, max defense, as I calc that, and it actually does do that much with the max HP, max defense. So now Heracross is going to go for Brick Bake, but Milotic getting out of the way, going to Charizard, which resists both Heracross's stabs, as I said earlier, and that's just not going to work out for Heracross, so he's going to switch out, go back to Vaporeon, which hard walls this Charizard, it looks like, and Charizard not predicting that, going to go for the Flamethrower, only does 19 or 18% didn't quite see to Vaporeon, and Vaporeon just going to fire off a wish as Ola goes back to Milotic. Now, we're going to see what this Vaporeon wants to pass it to. Vaporeon actually just going to go for the Protect as Ola switches to his Doug Trio, showing that he has that, uh, in anticipation of the Heracross coming in to eat the wish so it could go for Aerial Ace and kill it, but that's not going to work out. And now Doug Trio is going to be forced to switch back out to the Milotic, who's probably going to go for a recover here. So the Vaporeon does switch to the Heracross, and Milotic, of course, does go for the recover. So good predict on Meteor 64's part, or Falcon Punch. I'll just keep calling him Falcon Punch. Heracross is going to have to get out of the way there, though. Go to Fortress, and Milotic is going to go for the Surf, and it's going to do a hefty chunk to that Fortress. So clearly not a special, de special defensive version uh, of the Fortress. Fortress is going to go for some spikes as Jolteon comes in, is going to try to sub down. But Fortress is going to show Earthquake, so that's not going to be working out for the Jolteon. Now Jolteon going to be gutsy and go for another substitute, and Fortress makes a misplay here. Falcon Punch misplays and goes for spikes. Jolteon eats that Pattaya Berry, so now its special attack is going to be doubled, and that could be a huge threat for Falcon Punch, but no. Falcon Punch is going to show the Celebi, which basically hardwalls this Jolteon, based on the set that we've seen so far, and Jolteon, instead of going for Thunderbolt again just to get some more damage off, actually goes for Thunder Wave. So interesting, but Celebi's just going to break the sub with the Psychic, really not going to have any of that, and then we'll see if it has the Taunt Pass, but it does not... Just hard switches to Blissey, which I think is an okay play. Blissey hardwall so will be any day of the week, unless it is the Calm Mind offensive set with Giga Drain, which it is apparently not. So I'm going to switch to the Fortress, and Ice Beam really not going to do that much. Ice Beam pretty much means that Blissey does not have playing floor, so Fortress free to set up all over this thing. Fortress going to get up the third layer of spikes, and we have not seen a spinner yet from Ola. I really doubt he has one at this point. Fortress going to go uh, back, switch out into Vaporeon which, as I've stated earlier, hard walls this Charizard, and Charizard just gonna have to get out of the way again, go back to my Lotus. so basically the same loop, but with those spikes up, I feel like this is a winning battle for Falcon Punch, makes a great double switch here, goes into Selby, anticipating the Milotic, and now gonna set up Calm Mind, anticipating the switch, probably, but my Lotus's just gonna go for Toxic, put the Selby on a timer, although it does have Natural here, so when it switches out, that status will be removed. Now Psychic going to hit that Milotic for only 31%, so we see by the fact that Falcon Punch went for Psychic here that he probably does not have a Grass Stab, Hidden Power Grass, or uh, or a uh, Giga Drain. And Selby, yeah, just going to get out of the way here, fearing that Ice Beam and the Toxic Damage racking up, of course. Ice Beam not going to do a lot to Fortress, and we'll see what Fortress wants to do here. Uh, Ola actually goes into Jolteon, foddering it off, uh, probably in anticipation of an Explosion, which is understandable. 
But I would have gone to something else, honestly. Probably this weekend Charizard. He, he does that now. Goes to the Charizard. Uses Flamethrower on that Vaporeon. Once again, that's just not really going to be a winning battle for Ola. And now Ola going to be forced to switch again back to the Milotic, who's really getting worn down by that Spikes damage. And if Falcon Punch had made the correct play, the double switch to Celebi there, I don't think Ola would have much of a chance in this match. But Vaporeon uh, and Falcon Punch, I think, going to make a blunder here by trying to wish pass to the Heracross, as we've, uh, as we've already seen. Surf does uh, 38%. So the Surf going to take Heracross out from the range it was at, 36%. And now that's going to be one Pokemon down on Falcon Punch's side as he goes into Celebi, goes for Calm Mind. My Lotus just going to recover off that damage. So, uh, yeah, pretty even game at this point. But I feel Falcon Punch does have the upper hand due to the three layers of spikes that he has. Uh, My Lotus going to Toxic and then get out of the way to Blissey, who is really getting hurt by the spikes damage at this point. Down to 33% after that Psychic, 39 after Leftovers. But Selby not going to be able to kill it without a flinch, or without a crit, excuse me, and Blissey just going to go for Soft Boiled. However, Falcon Punch does reveal he has the Dug Trio here, and that Earthquake is going to be a solid 2 hit K on the Blissey. So unless there's investment in Special Attack, Ice Beam will not kill, and we see there is no investment in the Special Attack. So Blissey going to be trapped and 2 hit KO'd by that Dug Trio. So, Ola goes into Charizard here because the Dug Trio is clearly choice banded based on the damage that it did. Almost all of the Dug Trios are. And gonna make the correct play here. Go for Hidden Power Grass. Hit that big boy on. It's down to 50%. But he's not gonna stick in and just go for the Hidden Power Grass crit, which I think he should have done because it's really a losing battle on Ola's side at this point. The opponent just gonna wish up and then protect to get back to full health as my Lutic goes for Toxic, but the protect is going to block that. And now we'll see what they want to do here. Vaporeon gonna switch out, go to Fortress. Not quite sure if I agree with that, because we've seen the Surf damage. But Milotic just does go for Toxic, not predicting that switch, and Fortress gonna be able to escape unscathed. And now the switch to Celebi happens in anticipation of the Surf, which does come from Ola. So we're seeing that Falcon Punch pretty much outplaying Ola at this point. Gonna set up a Calm Mind, which I'm not sure how I feel about, based on the fact that we already saw Milotic has Toxic. But, uh, I guess... Selby and Falcon Punch are just going to try to make it work. Go for another Calm Mind here. This puts him at plus two. And Toxic going to connect here. So Selby once again on that timer. And we're going to see what they want to do here. Selby does show it has recover. So that's going to be possibly the nail in the coffin for Ola. As at this point he really has no way to beat the Selby. Because Selby can deal hefty damage with Psychic. And then switch out and remove that Toxic. And then of course just recover off the previous damage it's taken. But Toxic Damage really racking up at this point, despite the Special Defense drop on Milotic, Selby is going to be prompted to get out of there, as Milotic just goes for recover. Uh, Falcon Punch possibly trying to fodder off the Dug Trio, possibly just getting something to switch into, and now going to have to switch back out again as Milotic makes the correct play, goes for Ice Beam, and now Ola going to make a great play, switch into Dug Trio, predicting the, the recover from Selby, which he does show, and now Choice Banded Hidden Power Bug, is going to be able to take out the Celebi. So that Celebi Fortress of a Porygon combo uh, is no longer going to be viable. However, Porygon 2 going to come in on this Dugtrio, trace the Arena Trap, and now Dugtrio is unable to switch out of this Porygon 2, which is going to start setting up with Sharpen, a move you do not often see on the Porygon 2, but based on the damage that Hidden Power Bug is doing, only about 20-22% to 22 every time, Porygon 2 is going to be able to set up to plus 6 here, as it does have the recover, so not really much Dugtrio is able to do here. Of course, it can't switch out because of the Trace Arena trap. And now, Porygon 2, uh, Falcon Punch is for Porygon 2, just going to be able to set up to plus 6. So yeah, this is going to go back and forth for a while. Uh, just Porygon 2 basically getting those boosts. It's at plus 4 right now. Going to recover off all the damage it's taking, and really, Ola is in a deep hole here. I'm not seeing what he's going to be able to do about this Porygon 2. A plus 6 Porygon 2, where uh, while the attack stat is really not that great in the first place, nothing to sneeze at, as normal type moves are physical in this generation, and Porygon 2 gets that normal type stab boost, so if it has try attack or return, that's going to be really, really damaging for Ola. So Porygon 2 at plus 6 now, definitely going to go for its attack the next turn, and we see that it has the return. So that is going to be a huge deal for Ola. Going to be really tough for him to wallet. Goes into Charizard here and makes a fantastic play. 
substituting down to activate the Blaze ability, which is going to give its Fire-type moves way more power, and that Flamethrower going to do a hefty 73% to the Porygon 2, putting it in KO range for Ola's last Pokemon, which he shows right here, the Heracross. So Heracross is going to try to sub down here instead, making me think that it is a Salic Berry set with Reversal, and yeah, Heracross just going to keep subbing. Nothing Porygon 2 can really do besides try to break the sub every turn. Any fighting stab from Heracross at this point is going to immediately take the Porygon 2 down. So yeah, subs down to 1 HP, eats the Salic Berry. The speed is of Heracross is now doubled, and we'll see if it has Reversal, which would be a huge problem for Falcon Punch. But no, it shows Brick Break instead of Reversal on a substitute set, which I find very, very interesting. And now Heracross is going to go for the Megahorn here on the specially defensive Vaporeon, but still not going to be able to do enough to KO. So now it is down to Milotic against Falcon Punch's severely weakened team. He's got that Vaporeon right now at 38%, the Doug Trio at 31%, and then Fortress at almost maximum health, but really cannot dent this Milotic in any way unless it has Explosion, which we have not seen, of course. Uh, Vaporeon basically just gonna have to die at this point. This is Falcon Punch's only hope. Surf is gonna be the only thing he can hit this Milotic with. And since it's the last Pokemon, he can't roar it out, of course. So Falcon Punch just gonna let his Vaporeon die here to the toxic damage. And Milotic gonna get a chance to recover and gonna try to get up to full HP to uh, basically try to wall the onslaught of attacks that is obviously gonna come from Falcon Punch here in these few remaining turns, so yeah, Vaporeon gonna wish, and gonna let, uh, that Pokemon die, so, gonna let Vaporeon die, so Milotic goes for the recover here, not gonna help out, and Fortress shows the explosion, does 69% to Milotic, a good damage roll for Falcon Punch, and now it is down to the Choice Band Dugtrio, can Earthquake take it out? It can, so a good damage roll on Falcon Punch's part, and that is going to be the game. Very, very tight match. Just came down to those two damage rolls on the Explosion and the Earthquake there at the end. Wow, what a close game. What a great game. Congratulations really to both players. You both played your best. Some great prediction there in the match. So yeah, wow, fantastic game. Really enjoyed watching it. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you like this content, subscribe to the PO Simulator channel and also to my channel, which I will leave a link to in the description. This has been Lavos, narrating this ADVOU battle. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.